It is 7.20. Welcome back. As the economy slowly reopens, many workers are opting to stay home still, creating a strain on businesses that are looking to hire. Some economists blame unemployment benefits for creating an incentive for workers to stay home. Susan Crabtree, a national correspondent for Real Clear Politics, joins us now with what's being called unemployment fraud. Good morning, Susan. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure, Lauren. So uh, you wrote a really strong article on this and really pointing to the unemployment fraud that you seem to have a bit of a spotlight for a short time during this pandemic with EDD and so many of the malfunctions that went on in the state. But people really aren't looking too much at that right now. What, what was your biggest uh, point in the article that you're trying to make? The point is that it's a mismanagement meltdown and it's still occurring. Uh, you have business, uh, business people, self-employed people, gig workers for the first time could collect this unemployment because many of them were forced out of work here in San Diego and across the country by these strict lockdown policies. California had some of the strictest. So when they have applied, some people, when they have applied, for this unemployment, they are being denied the unemployment because it's riddled with fraud. And now they can't even get the payments out to the people who actually deserve them and were promised them and are suffering because of the strict lockdowns. Hairdressers and uh, people you know from restaurant workers all across the state and the country. Uh, the other points that are, are made are that the fraud is so widespread. There's estimates by um, members of Congress I spoke to that it could be 200 billion nationwide. And in, in California alone, that is 31 billion, the highest amount. And there was no cross-checking. The Congress, when they delivered this money, they asked the states to cross-check it against new hire databases and immigration status databases. And guess what? The states, many of the states didn't do that. A Labor Department IG report two weeks ago came out and said that 40% of the states didn't even bother checking for these types of databases for fraud. And now you have international criminal syndicates ripping off the states. I mean, really, the states are under attack by these international syndicates in China, Russia, Nigeria, just ripping them off. And people have estimated in the last week that it could be as much as 400 billion, almost half the amount of fraud, uh, money that they that Congress doled out to fraud, that lost, it's completely lost to fraud. So right now it's just a matter of trying to claw this money back if the federal government can, and for Gavin Newsom to try to get this system in order. And I mean, it's, it seems initially there was some focus put on the EDD and trying to fix some of this when we were initially hearing about maybe 10 million in loss uh, to, you know, paychecks that had gone out to people who weren't eligible, um, for instance. And and now it seems that we're not hearing much about the the overhaul that should have been done at EDD or what's being done. Do we know what happened with that focus and, and what could possibly be done with the EDD to overhaul this and prevent something like this from from getting worse well they they're struggling to hire workers um it's funny because across the nation they're struggling small businesses are struggling to hire workers because workers can be more choosy now because they are getting these payments but the edd is struggling to hire workers we haven't heard gavin newsom talk about it a lot because it's a black mark on his record and it's his opponents are using this in the recall against him and i talked to a republican leader in the senate scott wilk and he said that he really believes that uh, Gavin Newsom should, he's uh, uh, allotted $267 million to try to fix the EDD system um, in the budget. But Scott Wilk said that that money should be coming sooner, that Gavin Newsom could do a budget trailer and we could get that money in a matter of weeks so that these payments can go out to the right people and we can stop this fraud that's just massive, uh, going to 35,000 inmates in the state of California alone in the amount of $135 million. It's just mind boggling. It certainly is. And I know a lot of people are, are, you know, seeking unemployment attorneys to try to address this to, to get the money that they're due because they're several weeks behind. Well, Susan, I, I hope we can have a conversation again where uh, this, this problem is getting fixed. But thank you so much for your time this morning. Certainly appreciate it. Absolutely, Lauren. Thanks for having me. Take care.